long and frustrating day. Hey, how you doing? I wish I could say I'm doing well. Not doing well at all. This is a, um, a rental RV and we are taking it back. We brought it home. It's a 30 foot Ford something. One of the major RV rental places. We rented it. Total cost was gonna be somewhere around $4,000 all on a credit card. I drove it here and I said no. The pit of my stomach just started getting, it just does not feel right. This is not the way we travel. You can't park this anywhere. All you can do is go straight. I, I deliberately tested it. I took it to the cul-de-sac and had to, it wouldn't do the circle of the cul-de-sac. I had to back it up two, three times without the help of a uh, spotter, which you need. There's no uh, backup camera in this thing. They don't provide you with that. I, I'm gonna hit this tree. Um, all you can do with this thing is go in a straight line, get to your destination, set it up, and then what? Get a taxi or rent a car. Um, as I was driving, the, the gas gauge was right above the tick like below full but right there's like three quarters and it was above the three quarters mark now it's below the three quarters mark I've only driven it 30 miles so with all the cost of the rental and everything and then you're not done you got to pay for everything else and look at the, how godly wide a turn I have to make with this thing no not for me not for me. If if I drove a truck professionally, I could do deal with it. My vacation, I am not dealing with this. I'm not going to get so stressed out. This is not the way we travel. We do not go in a straight line on the interstate, get to our destination, park, and then sit and look at the ooh whatever, the beach or the bull crap or whatever. We do not do that. The Navion is good because it's 24 feet actually it's 23 and a half feet you can technically park it in a single car spot it can be a bit of a pain in the ass and ungainly but it's not like a 30 foot I mean just six extra feet doesn't sound like much but it's a lot it's 30 feet long 12 feet tall 10 feet wide no thank you not for me not the way I travel. I go into town. I drive on narrow city streets. I drive on dirt roads. I drive on uh, windy roads. That's the theme of the way we travel. Travel America's back roads. Not the U.S. interstate bullcrap highways. So with the window that we broke last night we did, well, while we were there as if to tell us this is completely wrong don't do it while we were there getting this thing the insurance calls my wife says guess what we won't pay for a dime you have to pay for the first thousand dollars you don't have any kind of glass anything in your comes a police officer with his lights going. That window with the labor and everything can easily cost us a thousand dollars. And then the Navion going down the way it did week before our vacation is supposed to start and then they say oh we can't get any parts till the middle of the week and oh by the way it's gonna cost you $3,500 to start 
to start, not even to go anywhere. That's just the cost of the labor and what they estimate. Oh, it's going to cost you more than that because we don't even know if we get all the parts in. We haven't even ordered the parts. So yeah, there's just so much. And this is too stressful. Now I gotta shut my mouth and drive this stupid thing. So here we are at a Texas Roadhouse. Nowhere near Texas, or anywhere for that matter. We're still in uh, Kansas City area, we're in Lee Summit. I guess if I decide to edit in my spiel, there'll be an understanding why. Oh, I gotta get in, I'm being texted. Hi. Table 225. Are you texting me again? That was good. We are satisfied. Away we go. Maybe. Ooh, ooh. We're going to park right over here. So we can move the other cars. <laughs> Morning. Barely awake. Didn't sleep very well last night. Today we make it to Corpus Christi. We hope. At least the sunrise is beautiful. Right, dongies? This is where we stayed in Waco, Texas. Okay, this is a first for us. We, this is the first place we tried to check into and <laughs> we didn't actually stay in the room we got. We're, we're just taking the loss on the room and returning the key. We stayed at another motel. I mean, it's an old school, old fashioned motel here in somewhere, Texas. <laughs> but... I don't know. We should have seen, looked at the room before we checked in. I mean, it's even got a little RV park. RV park slash trailer park. So when you look at some of these RVs, they have not moved in a long time. But, uh, so, yeah, we're, we're kind of... And returning the key... And we're kind of blowing this town. We're having a little bit of bad luck with the car, too. Uh, it didn't seem to want to start. Like, the battery is dead. So I'm going to have the battery changed at Walmart while they go in and enjoy the town. And probably have an oil change done. But, uh, yeah. Beware of motels that advertise low weekly rates. We're here in Texas at a gas station that's bigger than a lot of Walmarts I've been to. I've heard about this place. So I thought we'd get some gas before we headed into the city and, and dealt with traffic, so we're giving it a try. The missus and two of the kids are already in there trying to find out what Bucky's is all about. And we've been assigned to dog duty, but I have to find a bathroom in here. Yeah. We gotta look for shade. It's gonna be turning the car off. Can't run the air. And it's hot here in Texas. Wow. Look at all the barbecue grills. Huge. Huge. Hey, yep, and there's the critter. I see if Jimmy here has a reaction like he did with the skunk, skunk ape. I don't think he's going to. What is that, Jimmy? You gotta stay out. Ruh row. Ruh row. You're gonna be attacked by Mr. Bucky. I don't think he likes your kind. Hey doggies, there's a doggie. Phew, this is one big gas station. I'm being careful in the way I say bye. 
We bought beaver nuggets. What are beaver nuggets? Sugar. Sugar. Mmm, sugar. Beaver nuggets. Oh. Here, pose with the beaver nuggets for a photo. Give it to the kids. Here. Oh, great. That's all we need to do is sugar up the Here, kids. Here, Saya, Lucian. Oh, hold it, Luke. That's all we need to do is sugar up the kids. All right, hold up the beaver nuggets and get a picture. Smile like you mean it. All right. Beaver nuggets. All right. I've said it probably 3,000 times already. This is one big ass station. I mean, oop. big gas station. Big no, I did not say that. I've been very careful not to say that. But it is big. It's Walmart sized. So if this is a gas station in Texas, we're going to get lost in Walmart. Eh, mine. Well, anyways, on to our next stop. Woohoo! <laughs> from home this tent was not so easy for us in the offices to set up but believe it or not we have electric and water so it's not like we're roughing it roughing it I don't know how well you can hear me in the wind but this is our view for the night Corpus Christi Texas I don't know what town we're actually in, but this is the bayou. And we're learning as we go how to rough it. Old memories from my Boy Scout days are coming back. <sighs> oh, these chairs. Sipping daiquiris on the beach. Sort of. That's our view. This is the RV park here. It's brand new, just been constructed. Brand new KOA. And uh, yeah, we have electric and water and cable TV if we even wanted it. <laughs> and we're not too far from the clubhouse either. So it's not bad.
not come to Texas without coming to a Whataburger. Sounds like you're saying Whataburger. And the restaurant chain actually started here in Corpus Christi. So we're going to give it a try. I think I've had it probably 30 years ago now. Wow, what a burger. Mm. Doggies not allowed, unfortunately. Behold the peaches and cream shake. What a melt, whatever that is. Love the A frame. The founder, Harmon Dobson, founded in 1950. We are sassified. We finally made it to the beach and uh, actually we've made it to a couple of beaches. We, uh, the further out we got from the towns like Port Aransas, the nicer the beaches got, less crowded and uh, you know, less rules. We actually paid for this one. This is like a state park. and. Uh, it's really pleasant, really nice. We enjoyed it. So, I think we've met our goal. We're gonna hopefully just cruise up and down the coastline a little bit and then head home. Maybe find some adventures on our way home. The beach. The weather's not bad when you're sitting in the shade like I am, but you go out there, whew, it's hot. But the water is nice and warm, very pleasant. After spending a great deal of the time today at the beach, we come here, we found this little coffee shop which is built into a shipping container. Actually, it's uh, several small offices and a coffee shop. It's called Island Joe's. Pretty neat. Pretty cool. Here's where we are. Eating at Lumpia House here in Corpus Christi. Mm. What's this called here? What's this called here? Bigon. Bigon. It's the cabbage dishes. And chop suey. I think Zach and Saya like it. Luke is trying. Then Aunt Sienna, of course, likes it. She's saying it's making her homesick. The chicken adobo has arrived. Mmm, my favorite. And a small adobo. Yep, that's where we at. Mmm. We are sassified.
This is the beach. Now they're bringing in a net they cast like to catch walks some fish. Up. Oh, you got a ray. So what do you guys think of that? Huh? Do you have to throw those back? Oh, all of the stuff we catch, we throw back. Oh, okay. These are hermit crabs. They're a little shy. They won't come out. It takes them a little while. Yeah. Then they kind of become pets. Feel like rough. Now those babies, these are these are fairly new. 
these are fairly new babies. And when the babies are born, they're born about 50 pounds. 45 to 50 pounds. And when, they, when they're born, they will have hair on them for the very first six months. So they're going to have hair on them for the very, very first six months. Not only that, they're not going to have any teeth for the very first well, they're gonna have, they're gonna, you're going to have hair on for the first six weeks, they're not going to have any teeth for six months. Like I said, the mother's going to be with that baby for the very first six years. And what these dolphins are doing, of course, they're playing right now, but they usually come to this point. This is called Dolphin's Point. This happens to be the most southern tip of South Pine Island. Now, these dolphins come here to feed. You notice that this, this, this water is mercy dirty, but this is where the currents meet each other. So this is where the dolphins come out here to feed. Now, they're going to eat anywhere from 35 to 40 pounds of fish a day. That is a lot of fish. There's a lot of fish. They have to eat a lot of fish because these dolphins cannot drink this water. This water is very, very salty. It's a high percentage bay, so, they, so they can't drink this water. So they have to eat their way into all the fibers and protein. Take your video and come back later on. <laughs> Thank you. 